Hey CG, I'm Taylor. And I'm Noah. And we have your CGTV broadcast for Monday, February 6, 2017. Ticket sales for snow coming will be available this week. To buy tickets, you must have your student ID and a random drug testing form turned in by today. RDT forms can be picked up and returned to Mrs. Bellion. Additionally, if you are taking a date from another school, you must also turn in a guest form by today. Guest forms can be found in the guidance office and be returned to Mrs. Cornett. Tickets are $10 pre-sale and $15 at the door by the day of the dance, Saturday, February 11th. Now let's go outside to Mary Ramsey, who has your weather report for the day. Today will be warm, and warm again with rain coming down in tonight. If you are out and about this evening, there might may be sports of fog. Back to you. Thanks, Mary. AP registration is now open. You can find the link to register online on nearly any bulletin board in the school or from your AP teacher. Once you have found, once you have registered, if payment is needed, you will attach a check to the registration form, which you print out from the total registration website, and return it to Mr. Clodfelter in room 294. Math, science, and English AP tests are free again this year. All other tests are $93. See Mr. Clodfelter in room 294 for any questions. National Honor Society members and inductees will be practicing for the induction ceremony during STAR on Thursday, February 9th. Please report to the auditorium as soon as announcements are over. Attendance will be taken, and please remember that this practice is required for all members and inductees. The induction will be on Monday, February 13th at 6.30 p.m. in the auditorium. All inductees and current members should arrive no later than 6.15 p.m. Did you know that there are student entrepreneurs at our school? Dylan Godsave highlights one of these students today, Carson Wilhelm. <coughs> You could say it's a little out of the ordinary for freshmen to start their own company. We talked to Carson Wilhelm, one of the co-founders of Casual Cosmetics. I'm Carson Wilhelm, and I'm one of the co-founders of Casual Cosmetics. My role is the CPO, which is the Chief Product Officer, and I oversee all the products, product testing, and the shipping department. We had a team making our own bath bombs and other products, but our resources were limited, so we got in contact with a distributor where we made our own exclusive line of products. So the process of designing our own exclusive line was setting up several meetings with companies where we would choose our fragrances and how we wanted them to look like. So there's actually a lot more than you would think that goes into making your own business. Nowadays everything is online, so making a website that was visually appealing and user friendly is very important. We had to find a location for our shipping center, set up several bank accounts to accept online payment, and we had to make several social media accounts to promote our products. For more information, go to casualcosmeticsusa.com. Thanks, Dylan. Over the weekend, both girls swimming and wrestling were busy with postseason action. The wrestling team finished third in the Mooresville Regional. Gleason Mappas was CG's lone individual regional champion. However, Alex Petro, Peyton Pruitt, Logan Coyle, Jonah Hayes, and Corey Heinrichs will also advance to this weekend's semi-state and continue their quest for a berth in the state finals. The girls' swimming and diving team finished as sectional runner-ups with Sarah Kempf winning the sectional title in diving. Sarah will advance to Tuesday's Diving Regional. The 400 free relay team will advance to Friday's state finals along with Jillian Castor and the 200 free. Best of luck to all our athletes this week. And that's all we have for you today, CG. Bye. Bye.